this week I will have two moments in order to focus on the next project. That's why I want to focus on their design and how they should be built first. so much. The order isn't so important uh, when it comes to the recipes, however what's important is how they finally look, how they taste, that's why that I would go for rich and in the leaderboard I would go for a list. the avatar which is the face will bring the first attention so maybe it'll be better to keep the avatar first and so to the left uh, because people will read like an F pattern or less in the lists so they read uh, in the line later they go down they uh, scan another line so at the end of each line they will see the number like one two three four Maybe that would be better. I will prepare some varieties. Because of the fact that it is the free code scan board, I will use their uh, color, their greenish color, mm, and this will be my main uh, theme color in this leaderboard design. Generally, I would like to keep it clean and as wide as possible because it gives the impression of space, especially if you have a list that's really homogeneous and the items repeat. Each item on the list will have to be a link, so it will have to be clickable. I want to make it as interactive as possible, so I want to redirect the users whenever they click any reader, whenever they touch any leader uh, on the list, uh, and I want to redirect them to these leaders who was chosen to, to their FreeCodeCamp account. This is the first version of the design of FreeCodeCamp leaders boards. And the app uh, should allow for toggling between leaderboards uh, according to the time span. So by default, I will have displayed uh, last 30 days. And uh, a user can also go to all time leaders where the total points um, will be highlighted. On the right, there's additional information, which is the number uh, on the list. Um, so I was wondering whether to put them to the left. This is just the prototype. I want to make um, the whole item here, the whole line clickable and redirecting to a given user. So whenever I click 
some James uh, here in this line, whether it would be an avatar or at the line here. Um, I want to make this whole um, area clickable. So to make this whole area, the whole line clickable for a user to be redirected to uh, to be redirected to free code scamp um, users um, profile, and uh, this way this app should be more and more interactive because then they can go to this uh, Twitter, GitHub, LinkedIn, they can see their activity. Right now I have the design on mobile, um, horizontally, vertically, um, and also on uh, tablet screens, as well as on desktop. I was considering the option of putting two columns on wider screens, such as on tablets or on uh, the desktop. However, um, scanning patterns uh, of a list is like from top to bottom and the numbers uh, should go from one to this 100 down. Therefore, I decided to keep one column but center it and simply make it very similar on all devices. Generally what changes on iPads, tablets and desktops is that uh, I keep two lines with the information next to the avatar not free as on mobile phones um, vertically. This is the first draft and um, let's start with it. Later we will see what happens during the code's implementation. I love iterating over the projects and this is what I did with this one uh, with Free Code Camp leaderboard um, because the, the first design like these numbers on the right well finally I decided that uh, they are important enough to be kept but not as to be big as the avatars that's why I kept them small, uh, small as you see here uh, so I will put the relative position and layer, layer up so that it should work. And I will put the numbers uh, to the left corner of the avatars. So this way the position in the leaderboard would be pretty visible, but not more important than the faces, than the avatars of the people. Uh, and um, what I did also in this redesign is that I will put um, the, if it's like last 30 days, so the last 30 days points will be here uh, to the right. This way it's rating, um, you can reach better result. I believe that's better solution. I added the italic style to the points that aren't the most important in a given tab. So if we are in the last 30 days, the total points, so the points from all time, they're in italics. The reason for that is to still keep them, um, but to diminish their importance. inspiration so I'm looking for the inspiration for the design and looking how other people do different uh, cookbooks uh, some recipe apps and I started with CodePen and looking what other co-campers did in the final code I don't want to use bootstrap again because it's a pretty simple thing to do I will try to practice my flexbox skills once again and it will be more challenging for sure, but uh, more, much more fun. I want to do it not just on the mobile first, 
but this time I will also have a look maybe at this offline first. I'm also a fan of cooking and you know I'm really a foodie. This is also one of the reasons I live here in Spain uh, right now. But that's why this project seems also more exciting than the rest. And I run the food book, um, so I keep my recipes also online. I don't have a lot of time right now to do it, but I love culinary photography. That's why this project is pretty fun for me. So let's get back to work. of the recipe box this time I focus mostly just only on the mobile because uh, the um, wire screens will be pretty similar so I focused uh, on the material design here on the cards and on the specs additional specs that I built so in um, experience design I also added the user stories uh, that this project will have to meet um, the user stories come from FreeCodeCamp of course I tried to define the user and the technology, um, but also the extra stuff that can be done about this app. Probably in the first iteration, I will just only introduce um, some of them. And then let's go to the design. I want to make it in a grid system. Uh, this will be the home screen with the, uh, with the index. So the recipes should be visible as you see them alphabetically. Uh, they should be distributed this way. So we have bread, chocolate, cinnamon rolls, crumble. Whenever you click the, uh, whenever you click the recipe, you go to the detail view. When you scroll, you go to the bottom of it. So you have the ingredients, you have instructions, and later you can edit it or you can delete it. Uh, when you edit it, uh, you will go to uh, to the edit view you can also delete the recipe uh, and there will be reassurance for a user if they really want to delete it or not mm, if they click delete they will delete it from the list it was here so crumble was here after cinnamon rolls but right now uh, it's deleted because i um, deleted it uh, from the home view they will be able to add the new recipe uh, and save it. So on the phones, um, horizontally, I want to do uh, one more column. And on tablets, I want to add one extra column, which will be also kept on desktops. But here, um, I want to move the fab um, to the top. That's why I also changed the color to differentiate this fab from the rest. I also designed the home screen empty state. So I'm not sure about the uh, I'm not sure about this text yet, but uh, 
whenever there's no recipe, there should be some help for a user uh, to, to use the button and to do something. Maybe I will add some, um, some nice picture here, um, plus the text to make it more juicy. Next week, I'm going to start one of these projects. Probably it will be the leaderboard. Keep on doing and see you next week. And stay tuned because there will be a big news coming to this channel really soon.